Hello and welcome to another installment of Tim's Tech Corner. Today I'm going to be starting the first in a, uh, a series of reviews of some tablets. First one that I'm going to do is an HTC flyer and I'm going to be dealing with my 7 inch tablets first and then proceed on to the bigger ones starting with an HCC flyer because uh, this particular device is actually going to go to a friend of mine who won a contest. So here is an HTC flyer. It is a 7 inch tablet. It is currently running a Jelly Beam ROM. These were mostly designed to run gingerbread at the time that they were created. And this particular one is running a uh, Jelly Bean one. Some of them do run ice cream sandwich. I happen to like Jelly Bean because it's the newest and most modern. One of the nifty things about an HTC flyer and why I had actually gotten it is because of this nice little thing called an S Pen. This is an active pen for this device only. As you can see, it has two buttons on it. And this is kind of the, one of the neat things about this particular tablet is you can use it as a, a typical finger touch like this you can do that or you can use the pen as you can see here this is essentially emulating a finger touch so here is uh, my home screen for this particular device it has a live wallpaper that's uh, called beach great little live wallpaper it's supposed to be changing with the time of day but uh, it seems a little bright for it being at night. This particular widget over here is called Bob Clock. And down here at the bottom we have settings to, we have shortcuts to settings. We have the overclock, which is running at a 1.7. So this device does actually overclock well. We have some Google apps. We've got the battery over here on the next screen. We've got a shortcut to Google Drive. We've got some of the different um, toggles. With Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, roaming data, brightness. We've got a news widget. Over here we have a weather widget with a refresh over here. We have glass widgets running just the news portion and it's uh, getting the news feed from Wired. And over here we have audio controls, two profiles, quiet and normal. It's actually on a timer where it engages the quiet when I went to sleep and it would turn notifications off. I'd actually been using this as kind of my nightstand bed um, alarm clock for a while. I now have a Nexus 7 that I'm going to be using there. Going through some of the apps that are installed, we'll come all the way back to the beginning of the alphabet. And let's see, change this position a little bit better to get it better centered okay so going through the apps that we have installed over here we have add-on detector which goes through and looks at the applications installed on the device and see if any of them are using air push or delivering ads to you good way to make sure that you're not getting any eddy clock airdroid which allows you to transfer files back and forth between the device without having a usb cable Alarm clock, drum pad, the ambiance app, some Tesla softwares, Ambi size series. Uh, here we have Antutu Benchmark. Just happened to run a benchmark on it tonight. I'll show you the score that it got. 37.94, so it's almost 4K. 4K is pretty reasonable for this device. And you can see here where it ranks once I get the bar chart up. As you can see here, Ace is Transformer Prime. The best one right now is the Galaxy Note. And then you've got uh, the One X, Galaxy Note, Galaxy Nexus, Kindle Fire. So now you're getting into some comparable devices. And here is the HTC Flyer. Okay, we have the Apollo Music, we have Aptoid, which is an alternative market, as is Black Market Alpha. Here's Audio Control, 
and that was the two widgets that we saw on one of the screens and we can see the schedule over here so you can set quiet and normal hours uh, backgrounds for setting non-live wallpaper ones beautiful widgets the bedside alarm clock if you bring this up it goes into alarm mode and actually will turn off your sounds uh, if you were not using audio controls profiles and you can set uh, an alarm here and uh, do a couple other things if you hit brightness you can get it out of bedside mode uh, black and blue is just a theme for the keyboard black market alpha alternative market browser calculator calendar camera for this device the rear camera works the front camera does not that's not a function of the device being broken it's simply because it is a jelly bean ROM Chrome browser we have the clock currents which is basically like a newspaper related magazine type app defrag pro which is really good it allows it to defrag the SD card so it stays in optimal shape Doc is a little news, like Facebook, Twitter, newsfeed, scrolling thing. Uh, it's kind of like a, a stock widget, but with news and everything. The Draw Something game, uh, Drive and Dropbox, of course, or Cloud Storage, eBay app, email, ES File Explorer for using like a Windows Explorer on the device, ES Task Manager, Evernote related stuff, another file manager, the G4 app. Gallery, Gmail, Goo Manager, which can manage ROMs. This particular device does not have, um, as you can see, it lists that no uh, compatible ROMs are found. But you can do other things from it, like rebooting into recovery and telling it to flash ROMs. So that's why it's in there. It's all up to the author whether or not their items are going to be on uh, Goo Manager. We have GTAS, we have Lightning Bug, we have Lucky Patcher. Now, Lucky Patcher is a program that will take out ads and license verification on things. This is a good thing to use with the Anon Detector. Maps, Movie Studio, MX Player, which plays just about any file you can slap on here. There's the My Beach Wallpaper, some more clocks, Netflix, News and Weather, some clocks, Page Once, which is a bill paying application Pandora Papyrus which allows you to use this active pen to draw stuff and write pretty handy little app playbooks all Google stuff over here Pluto theme for the keyboard the Pomodoro Pro timer point which shows you nearby things of interest like cheap gas what's playing in your theaters restaurants Puffin is a browser that apparently is one of the better browsers for Jelly Bean ROMs. Uh, Quill is similar to Papyrus. You could use either one of those for active pen applications. Uh, Rise Up Alarm Clock. ROM Manager, which is similar to Goo Manager. You can get into Recovery from here, which will allow you to do um, backups and, and stuff like that. Check for ROM updates, as you can see. It's a July 18th unofficial flyer build. More info on that shortly. Root Explorer, which is a little bit of a more powerful version of ES Explorer, set CPU where you can set the overclocking. Um, Splashtop HD, which allows for remote access to your desktop. Stevie Windows, just a fun little app. Basically what it does is it fogs up your display and uh, it allows you to do things like that so you can essentially write stuff and then it drips just fun stupid little app doesn't really do a whole hell of a lot super metal slug game this one actually can be a little bit plagued with ads so you have to watch super keyboard super su which of course controls the root talk terminal emulator Titanium Backup, True Weather, Wallpaper, Tune and Radio, Time Warner Cable TV, if you're a Time Warner subscriber, some weather stuff, some weather stuff, White Noise, Wi-Fi File Explorer, which also is probably the best app for getting files to and from devices like this without having a USB cable. Another radio app, YouTube, Zen Alarm Clock, and here we have some of the widgets. 
So here is the audio control widgets. Here's a anti-clock widget, air droid widget, analog clock, and alarm clock widget. Here are some of the beautiful widgets, which is like the time and the weather. There was a battery widget over there. There's Bob clock that we can see on my front screen. Bookmarks, a bunch of ones for bookmarks, the calendar, Dropbox, Drive, email, task manager, Evernote related widgets. These are the glass widgets over here from the news and the contacts. We have Gmail stuff, we have the Google Play Books, we have Google Chat, we have a night alarm clock, some more Google Task ones, music, Pandora, photo gallery. Sorry about that. Device turning. The Google Play Store, some point ones, settings. There's the weather one from my home screen over here. Titanium backup ones. The Zia Live Radio. And YouTube. So one of the things I'm going to go through here in this video is one of my favorite keyboards of all time is called Super Keyboard. Now there's a lot of keyboard apps out there like Ultimate Keyboard and Better Keyboard. Super Keyboard is one of my favorite because it utilizes a ton of themes and aside from setting the themes Here's what this particular keyboard looks like. So you could use the pen, you could use your finger. Uh, here's your shift, tap it once, it capitalizes one letter, capitalize it twice, it stays in like caps lock. One of the things I like about uh, Super Keyboard is it allows you to change the click sound. You can choose it from any one of these four, Android, iPhone, Windows Phone, and the Galaxy class ones. Uh, that's really good if you have a, you know, you're coming from a generic keyboard where you're kind of tired of the standard jelly bean and ice cream sandwich clack and you want to hear something different. So you can go in there and play around with the settings. So here is an HTC flyer. I'll show you some settings over here. Some information about the tablet. Android version 4.11. It's running a Leadroid kernel. Cyanogen mod 718 of this year. The build date was July 25th. Listed as unofficial flyer. The guy who produces this ROM is very nice. I like him a lot. His name is Dexter on XDA. He's a pretty responsive guy. I uh, can set your accounts over here like Facebook and your Google accounts and everything. Um, I would be careful theming this device. I tried to theme it once and it broke. Uh, I can't remember if it was maybe an ice cream sandwich theme that I applied to Jelly Bean. If that's why. But So here you go. It is a pretty snappy device. Don't have too many crashes for it occasionally. Uh, it can reboot itself. No big deal. If it gets caught in a boot loop, you just hold the power button down here. For about a solid 15 seconds, it will shut the device off and it will restart it. Now, this particular uh, HCC flyer is going to come with the white power cord. It's going to come with this nifty little rubberized back. And you can see the back cameras over here. Your speakers are up here. Volume button. Actually, I take that back. The microphone's up here. The speakers are down here. And there you go. So this is what it looks like with this orientation, and you can actually orientate it a tall way. So there you go. There is an HTC flyer running a Jelly Bean ROM. Uh, it overclocks very well. I like to keep the minimum at 230. Some ROMs do have an issue if the overclocking to goes too low. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot, and stay tuned to Tim's Tech Corner for more tablet videos coming shortly.